now, start now. Now, uh, now, how'd you guys begin to get the awareness out for your project? How, did, did some of you just started tinkling with yourself? Just well, curious. Well, uh, first we and, and his partner John, they had an idea for a, a small terrarium that could, uh, and they had a question about how to bring technology into it. They wanted to water it with an iPhone, and uh, we met in October. I do a lot of technology work, and okay. they asked me if it would be possible to and build that technology into these frames. So uh, I told them, yes, I can help you guys do it. And we started shipping the project. We have a little prototype of it. We're gonna Wait. water the plants on right now. So that thing's gonna turn on and the water's gonna fall. Yeah, get a good close up on that. The little rain falling into the plants right Check here. Exactly. <laughs> and you can do that from, this your, is from your phone. At your home, this or, is so cool. <laughs> or in the Bahamas, in the beach, you know, <laughs> wherever you happen to be, as part of the business. What better way to spend an afternoon with your daughter? Yeah. Get education, science. <laughs> were you guys science geeks? Or were we, we're, we're, uh, we <laughs> studied architecture. Yeah. Uh, we studied architecture. Okay. Uh, we all, we're all about making, we're thinkers. Okay. We also like to make things too. Yeah. And I think uh, we're lucky that we were able to, uh, to do that type of work. What was your biggest obstacle? Biggest obstacle was you had the idea was was actually verbalizing this, making a whole story, putting this into words. Okay. Uh, there's so many ideas here that we're tapping into that it's very hard to make it compact and easy to understand. And what we notice is that when people are in front of it, they yeah. they get you it. You get it completely. You like it fits it fits. In the, I mean, you fit in any apartment in New York just about, right? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. And this this project that we're working on has uh, two sort of very strong uh, directions. One is a direction of a product, okay. and the other direction is a uh, art installation that we're trying to do with it. And we had to make a conscious choice right now as to what we want to start with. And we decided to choose art because it gives us a lot of creative freedom to explore the design and the technology in ways that are not constrained by profit or yeah. usability right now. We'll get there, but right now we just want to be very creative with it. So what's the goal, guys? Is the goal to get it out in the marketplace, the Walmart, or through yeah, I think some website? The goal is to really uh, reach a bigger community and really to tap into, you know, uh, what ecology is. What is a city? Um, how can we live with our interior environments in a different way? And how can we interact with nature in a different way? Yeah. So that's really the big picture of what we're trying to do. And in, uh, in, in between, we're just—it's the joy of just working. The joy is looking at it, seeing it all come to fruition. Are you doing some with Kickstarter as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you walk us through? Because a lot of people are using that. Give us a sense. We have seven to hours to go. We reached our twenty-five thousand dollar goal. Uh, we have about three hundred and forty-six people backing this project up. So we've had a lot of support. We have over thirteen hundred likes. Thirteen hundred likes in this project. At what point did you guys start doing Kickstarter? For those who haven't used it, is it was it useful for you, obviously, oh, it's or not? Powerful. 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 Yeah. It, it's a tool to kind of expose your idea to the uh, larger audience and engage them as a community. Okay. You're basically recruiting people that you're going to support your project moving forward. But it's just the beginning. Yeah. Kickstarter is exactly what it is. It, it's a springboard to commitment to what your idea is about. So after this project is fully funded, people are congratulating us. But for us, it's just like we're just scratching the surface. Somebody just gave us the green light. I'm with you. I love it. You know, if you keep on following us, this small idea will be really, really large. So. Uh, we're here now. How are things feeling for you guys now this summer? What's, what's the next process, the next accomplishment you're looking for in, 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 in Prod's project? Well, with well, these funds that we've raised, yep. we're planning to go back into the lab and build a, a lot more of these, work more on the technology. And by the fall, we're hoping to put together a show with all of the things that we're going to be building over this Wicked. summer. Wicked. Wicked. The biggest thing is, uh, you know, we want this thing to perform at a level that is that is uh, about beauty, about art, about ecology, about science, about more humankind. Yeah. Do you see these? Um, are you going to start going to schools and teaching, teaching this to students? That or? Is a yeah, we see. A I can see you guys doing urban days. programs. You, you yeah. Know. I, I urban like, planning. I feel like, yeah, you urban got farming. it. Urban planning. Yeah. Urban I'm from Detroit, and one of the biggest things is oh, exactly. so much land, dude. Yeah. yeah. Unused, Unused land. Yeah. yeah. I'm collected. Yeah. Yeah. Which should be a, a commodity, actually. Yeah. Like, land is going to become more 
more scarce as the cities become denser, population growth and all of that. You know, it, it's, it's great that you know, what you're doing is a small idea. Like, it's, it's amazing how a small idea has become such a big idea. Yeah. And I think that's where it all starts with like, a very simple desire. And then you're tapping into a bigger argument. And that's what we just brought yeah. up. Now, what website do people go to if they want to support you, find out more? Where should they go? PlantedCity.com right now. And there's also great pieces written about us by like Tree Hugger, Wicked Magazine, uh, 477. 477. Awesome. Uh, there's been a lot of great support about this work. Awesome, dude. Congratulations. Thank you. Glad we came by. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Oh, Wicked, dude.